Hi, my name is Richard Anslow. I'm part of the Industrial Automation Business Unit um, here at Analog Devices, and I'm focused on condition-based monitoring applications. So existing analog output piezo sensors commonly used for condition-based monitoring cannot measure very low frequency signals, are not Ethernet IP addressable, and cannot provide asset health history. While it is possible to create a vibration sensor with Ethernet connectivity, the challenge is complexity, sensor size, and multi-pair expensive cabling. The good news is that Analog Devices has designed the industry's first 10 base T1L MacFi, which is a single-pair Ethernet transceiver with embedded Mac. This significantly reduces design complexity and system costs for an intelligent wired condition monitoring sensor. The demo shows Analog Devices Galileo solution, which uses a low-power MEMS vibration sensor a 10 base T1L Ethernet transceiver and embedded microcontroller to deliver high quality asset health history and IP addressability. Single pair Ethernet connectivity reduces overall system costs and can measure signals right down to DC for high value assets such as wind turbines and AC motors. So this solution consists of an optimized mechanical enclosure so that the vibration signal is effectively transferred from the monitored asset to the MEMS sensor. The hardware design is modular and stacked to reduce the size and increase flexibility. If you want to change the MEM sensor or embedded microcontroller, for example, then you only need to redesign one of the four stacked PCBs. So the Galileo sensor is mounted next to an AC motor running at 1300 RPM. The AC motor is a small imbalance fault. And then the sensor includes embedded firmware running the MQTT protocol. The data acquisition system includes a 10 base T1L, the standard Ethernet media converter board, and a Raspberry Pi Linux PC or Windows laptop running a Mosquito broker and Node-RAID. Node-RAID is used to subscribe to the acceleration data published in an MQTT topic by the Galileo 10 base T1L MEM sensor. The Node-RAID dashboard as shown here displays the vibration data on gauges and graphs. You can see that the z-axis measures approximately 1g acceleration due to gravity in a static state. When an imbalance fault is introduced to the motor, you can see that there is an increase in the periodic acceleration in the z-axis. Using the node red environment, you can save the vibration data to file simply by wiring a save to file to your chosen node axis. The z-axis on the dashboard shows approximately 0.5G peak-to-peak -peak vibration due to the motor imbalance fault. The Node-RAID GUI is highly portable and you can access asset health history on your mobile device using a remote RAID app from anywhere in the world. ADI's 10 base T1L MacFi transceiver significantly reduces design complexity and system costs for an intelligent wired condition monitoring sensor. High quality asset health information can be easily obtained from any remote location. So to learn more about Analog Devices complete system level solutions for condition monitoring applications, please visit analog.com forward slash CBM. Also for more information on industry's first 10 base T1L MacFi, the ADIN 1110, please visit our website.